Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Out at the range here today with heavy metal, and I have got my 17 HMR out, and I've got to sight it in. Why? Because I got in a CZ 527, and I needed some of these dovetail scope rings. Thought I could rob them off of this rifle. Turned out they were the wrong size, but I broke the scope rings off my 17 HMR and had to get new ones. Um, yeah. And I also had borrowed the scope off of this rifle for another project. So today, I have got to get my 17 HMR sighted in. This is my Marlin 17V. I've got some of this Norma ammo out here. And which scope did I slap on here? This is a Pinty 4 to 16. Huh. Plenty of scope. For the 17 HMR, 16 power zoom. Uh, but we're going to get this thing sighted in real quick, have a little bit of fun shooting some steel, and then we're going to go out to 100 yards and shoot it. Um, mainly because a lot of you guys asked me how good is 17 HMR at 100 yards, and I have absolutely no clue because I've never done it before. So now we're going to know, legit from experience, I'm going to take a couple shots here. Um, at 10 yards see where the scope's at like I said I just slapped it on I just took this scope off of my 338 wind mag uh, so I think the uh, the scope will be able to handle 17 HMR if it handles 338 wind mag but let's load it up and sling some bullets should be a whole lot of fun getting my 17 HMR Marlin back in business Whoops. all right so like I said I just slapped this scope on here uh, but it was on another rifle, so it should be somewhat centered. Let's shoot this at 10 yards and see where we're at here quick. All the zooms. Ha! Uh, I couldn't ask for it to have been any better than that. That was pretty lucky. But, uh... I was just shooting a CZ. I thought the safety was on on this thing. The trigger was so heavy. That gum. But, uh, that is that was dead on at 10 yards. Let's go back to 100, and we'll see how far off 10 yards is from 100 yards. I'm actually pretty interested to see what the difference is where the bullet's hitting. Let's go back there, and then we'll get it sighted in dead on at 100. Do some 100-yard groups. This is the kind of stuff that I have a whole lot of fun doing. Let's go back to 100. All right, now I got a paper plate down there at 100 yards. Let's uh, give her all the zooms here. Which way is all the zooms on this scope? Mm, it's definitely not that way, it's this way. And at 10 yards, it was dead on. Let's see where it hits. Uh, gotta set the parallax. Where's the parallax? Uh, it's out here on the front on this one. Been a minute. All right, that should be a lot clearer. Oh yeah, I can actually see the plates now. Let's shoot uh, shoot at 100 and see where it's at. Remember, dead on at 10 yards. It should be somewhere close at 100, I hope. Hips if you load it. Well, You guys might have been able to see it, but it was about 18 inches high, so let me come way down. That was a whole bunch of clickies. Uh, we hit the plate now. A whole bunch of clickies more. I forgot which way I turned it. It's too high, so we need to go down and come right while we're at it. Just a whole bunch of spinnies. Too far. Let's go left. 
Which way is left? This way. And a hair bit up. I'm driving some of y'all crazy not counting my clicks. Let's see where this one hits. Did I turn it the wrong way? Might have. Yeah, we're pretty good there. Let me come up just a couple clicks. And uh, we load some more bullets here. Then I'm going to go to a new paper plate and do like a, I was about to say 10 shot group, but man, you can't get ammo with it right now. So we might do like a seven shot group. All right, here we go. I think I got seven bullets in there. Let's do a group here at 100 yards, see what we can get out of this marlin. Almost no recoil out of this thing. Pretty, pretty sweet. Man, this thing can shoot. Good group here so far. Real good group. And I'm really not even trying that hard. I'm squeezing them off here pretty quick. Oh, come on, baby. Is that all the ones I loaded? Yep. Let's run down there and check out our 100 yard group there. I think I'm gonna be pretty impressed. All right, so here's where we started sighting it in. At Dead on at 10 yards, you can see how high you are at 100. So, <laughs> that's, uh, if you sight it in at 10 yards, you're gonna be nowhere close at 100 yards. Then we got it pretty close. Came over here and did a seven shot group. That's not bad, guys, just for sake of comparison. There's the size of my thumb. That's definitely a thumbnail group. So super, super impressed with that Marlin 17V and that Norma ammo. 100 yards, man. Some might consider that a tack driver. Seven shots. How's a 17 HMR do at 100 yards? Uh, I'd say if you can shoot, uh, you can just about put them in the same hole. Today's actually pretty windy. Um, I did not expect to get that, but there's my Marlin. 17V, got some of that Norma ammo in there. You know, if you have some crummier ammo, your groups might be a little bit worse. And then we had this Pinty Scope slapped on there, but I'm super impressed. Like I said, honestly, I did not think we'd be able to get that good groups out of that thing, but hey, now we know, and now next time somebody asks me, will a 17 HMR shoot 100 yards? absolutely guarantee it here's the video link but as always appreciate you guys watching a big thanks to heavy metal y'all go down below and subscribe to their channel don't forget to subscribe to the hootie who channel if you haven't already we'll see you on the next one comment down below are you a 17 hmr fan appreciate y'all we'll see you on the next one Hoo -hoo.